Sit, sit. Okay. Yeah, come on, let's go. Thank you for calling Beaches Animal Hospital. How can I help you? At Beaches Animal Hospital, we're a full functioning veterinary clinic. Uh, we do surgery, we have radiology, we do ultrasound. Um, most of our time is spent dealing with medical cases, of course. Uh, we have boarding, we service both uh, paying clientele, but we also do a lot of work with rescue groups as well. In fact, the last count was that we were working with 60 rescue groups, which I think has actually helped us build as a veterinary clinic because the, the People in the community actually see that we're giving back to the community, so they they enjoy that idea and they they um, come to us and and continue to come to us. Uh, my name is Dr. Joanna Coote and I am an associate veterinarian here at Beaches Animal Hospital and I have been working here since 2009. So I, I think my, like many veterinarians have loved animals from a young age and I was pretty horse obsessed when I was a young child and was rode horses and my poor parents that's you know that's all we did all weekend long and so sort of when it came time to go to university I was really interested in science and went through science program and decided to apply to become a veterinarian. And so I graduated and started off as an emergency veterinarian in a ER for animals, basically. Over the years, I've developed an interest in surgery. And so I do see appointments, so I see consultations, um, as all the vets do here. And, um, and I do have days where I do surgery as well. So I primarily do surgeries on dogs and cats. I do do some surgeries on rabbits and small pocket pets, uh, but mostly dogs and cats, and that can range from anything to um, routine surgeries such as spay and neuter, um, all the way to removal of foreign objects that they shouldn't have eaten, such as tennis balls or corn on the cob, uh, bracelets. It's amazing what animals will eat, but. Um, so those types of surgeries or mass removals, uh, dentals on animals, uh, so. All right, so for ultrasounds on animals, we put them in um, DV position, so basically dorsal ventral, so the abdomen side is up, the dorsal side is on the back, and then we just hold them down like that. Most animals don't mind being like this, so Dolly's a good girl though, she won't mind. Right, baby girl? Right, with your tongue? And then Natalie's gonna come in. She's gonna squirt some alcohol on. We don't use ultrasound jelly that much just because of the fur and the mess. Alcohol works pretty well, so we can see on the ultrasound machine. Um, and Natalie's gonna probably show you where the bladder is and whatever other organs she can see. <laughs> So I started at the Beaches Animal Hospital in 2004. Um, it was a very quiet environment at that point as far as uh, a veterinary hospital. It was a very slow-paced environment initially, but because we expanded our hours, we were committed to the area, um, our clientele has grown tremendously, and now we're a, a very busy veterinary clinic that employs uh, uh, seven veterinarians and greater than 30 staff members. So getting an award like Toronto Star's Best Veterinary Service Award certainly um, makes you feel good and it makes you uh, look back and, and think of all the good work you've done. In fact, when we got that the Toronto Star Award, I got a bad rating on my Uber that day and I focused more on the, the bad Uber rating than I did on this Toronto Star Award. But it does, it, it helps you keep things in perspective and, and makes, makes you, you and the, the staff um, feel good about your what you've done th that day. Dog patient here, Dolly. And with the ultrasound, we can assess in the abdomen, um, the area that we're looking at, we can assess the kidneys. There's two kidneys in a dog and a cat. Uh, we can assess the adrenal glands, we can assess the pancreas, we can assess the liver, we can assess the urinary bladder, we can assess the intestinal tract, we can assess the stomach, 
and we can assess if they have their reproductive reproductive organs still, um, the uterus, the ovaries in this case for Dolly because she's female. She does not because she has been spayed. Um, and we can look for abnormalities such as free fluid in the abdomen, um, masses, tumors, and, um, and also abnormalities in the sizes of some of the organs. Okay, so we'll take a look. Uh, we joke that there's this boomerang approach because although we're a very busy clinic, it can be very taxing at times, both emotionally and physically. And sometimes people venture off to go and try out a different job, but they, they in a lot of cases, come back to work with us because I, I do believe we're a great clinic to work with and it's because we're, we're all committed to animals.